you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures team. Thank 
aku. Said that when an elder clears his throat, the spirits will listen to hear what he will say. I greet all of you. Yigwe. I thank you so much for your quick response. Despite the unnecessary state of insecurity presently prevalent in the land. Honestly, it beats my imagination that we have allowed hatred to creep into our midst. Have we suddenly forgotten that we are brothers and sisters? Let me remind you one thing. Our ancestors will never forgive us if all their efforts are brought to naught under our watch that's why i called all of you to come and let us reason together and know how to make omoaji our community our own inheritance more united like one family that we are and i believe so much that our ability to find a lasting solution to this mayhem will make us greater and more successful. A man does not stop to run until what is pursuing him stops. Once again, I greet you all. Yeah. Yeah. You did very well to invite us because it is said that an elder never watches a she goat deliver under an unusual circumstance. Well, to make Igbe Ulisa speech clearer, it is said that brother's offense goes only a skin deep. Whatever it is, brothers we are, and brothers we must to remain. Your Highness, mm -hmm. you have spoken well. But let me remind us in case we have forgotten that we have a culture of consulting the oracle first in a situation like this and the, it has never failed that is the problem which oracle are we going to consult
Your Highness. Fellow elders. I want to be clear. What exactly are the herbalists coming together to do? I will need to be clear. Eh? What are they coming to do for us? Somebody should answer me. Njoko, 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 there is no need for that now. My others, Igwe. the herbalist shall gather and choose a god for Mwaja to avoid further crisis in future. Igwe. Igwe. Your Highness. Well and good. But as we are choosing, let us choose smartly. We must choose wisely. We must not forget the source that brought us into being. Your Highness, we must choose wisely. I salute you all. My people, Igwe. now that we have all agreed that Omoaja needs a God of her own, we shall all go home and think about it. Let us meet in the next Eke Market Day. Igwe. Igwe. Your Majesty, our father says that 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 made the toe to run on a broad light must be important. He gets a hit the nail at the head. This is why I've left my family this late to speak to you, Your Highness. Ikeze, towards what did you speak?
พอดึงก้อนอ่ะดึงดึงมัวพอดึงก้อนอ่ะดึงดึงมัวพอดึงก้อนอ่ะดึง
Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is a sign of good omen. Yes. Made possible by your various painful sacrifices. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. And perform the rites and rituals that brought us together. <laughs> She of her own. I therefore invite the chief priest to appease the oracular spirit. Boom. So come and celebrate with us. Are you with your senses at all? To invite the SMO that plunged our forefathers in this mess. Count me out. Your Highness, may you reign forever. And my fellow elders, I greet people as well. You see, summoning SMO in this matter is not all that important. I don't buy the idea. Because bringing him is like bringing seven times the punishment we have been suffering for a long time. May the gods forbid that. You are the woman that you will
tremble or not, mate. I have come not to cause further destruction, but to save your land and wipe away your tears. I, the author, I, the finisher, I hold the power over death. I have seen so much pain, so much gnashing of teeth. Tears have become the order of the day for you. But I have come to remove death from you. I have come to remove destruction from you and bring peace and happiness again. If only you will willingly bow and wash the blood. has remembered us. He sent us a king after our hearts hey. to rescue us from this siege of death. Mm. Omeri? Omeri Ogini? Is everything alright? No, Cha. It pains me so much that my late husband, Ichi Okimi, could not live to see this day, despite all my efforts. Omeri, my sister. Mm. You know, sometimes I imagine how Ibezim, my husband, and I would have been living in love together if he was still alive. Hey. Hi. Uh -huh. What if we go to Igwe Ofife and ask him of a favor? What favor could that be? To bring our dead husbands back to life since he has the power. Okwea? Uh -huh. Hey. So that we will be living in love together forever. What? How possible could that be? A 
anyone that worships any other God shall be sacrificed on my altar. Twins are unholy to me. And any woman that gives birth to a twin, both the woman and her twins, shall be sacrificed, served on my sacrificial altar. Pass this as ordinance to your families and generations to come. And it shall be well with you. We all know you. Hmm? Continue. In this community, Umuaja, despite the fact that we have not recorded deaths recently, the gods and the fowls know that everything is no longer the same the way it used to be. I want to make it clear to everybody here that I and all the members of my household will not bow down to worship any man. <laughs> Neither will we believe in any man's name to live. Eh? Yes. Careful. Why are you always in a haste? Eh? No. Chuma had just heard his own opinion. Eh? Eh? And oh. he is entitled to his own opinion. Eh? Now, can we hear him? Please continue. Uh, please. Listen to me. You people are always in a hurry. In a hurry to go and die. Thank you, Chibu. Let me mention it again. I have made my point. I and members of my household will not worship that man. We do not believe in him. That's all. you nothing yes your ma no 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 your majesty
Bam, bam. You have the guts to walk in here and say thus to my face, you blatant liar. Tell Chuma to see me, whether he likes it or not. No one, no mortal, criticizes Igwe Fufe and goes unpunished. <laughs> Why were you not at the meeting of the elders of Omoaja? Why should I be there? Moreover, I'm not a caucus member of the Elders' Council. And what exactly do you mean by that? Chuma. No man should lord himself over others. The rebellious spirit of your fathers is in your vein. But I want to give you another chance. So wake him up, let's go immediately. Let's leave, let's leave here immediately. Huh? Where are we 
be going by this time of the night. Can't you wait till tomorrow morning? This is your opinion is not required at this moment. Just go inside, pack those things and let us go. Let's leave now. Quickly, quickly. Thank you, loyal servants of Umuaja Kingdom. You may go. Finish what you started. Are you hearing me? What is it? What is it, Father? Of what use is salt if it cannot add taste to it? Father, for three years, three whole years I've been married to her, and I cannot even ascertain if the well is deep or shallow. Papa, is it fair? I can't take it anymore. I am a man. I'm sick and tired of this whole thing. It's huh? okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Huh? Calm down. Please. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Obi, I have loved you ever since I met you. That's why we are married today. 
do you know why all this are happening? I do not blame you nor neither myself. But please, forgive me and eat the food I made for you. Please, Obin. Obin, please. I know. I have tried to. I wake up every day hoping that one day this place will live so I can enjoy my marriage with the husband of my youth. But each moment that passes by proves me otherwise. Obin, Obin, would you rather I get pregnant and remain pregnant forever? If that will make you happy, I'm waiting for you on the bed. No, no. than watch you suffer like every other woman. Stop that misery. Were you not the one that told me how you ran for your life the other night? Yes. Eh? <laughs> that animal. I mean, it's the animal of beast. I was pursuing you. <laughs> you are just big for nothing. Who knows? I'm as you are. You still just say you know who asked you? What is the truth now?
Continue. Oh. Gagne n'a pas zélé. Mani, ne when did My sisters, ophophobia. Ophophobia is a disease that has caught up with our men. Is it not said that fear grips the pot? Whenever a stone is thrown up, our men have suddenly lost their strength to the fear of ego fulfill. If not, how else can one describe the present situation in Omaja? No one wants to die hmm. as a sacrifice for ego fulfill. Forbid. It's not about saying may the gods forbid so. <laughs> we have to help ourselves before God will help us. Please let's hurry home. Us. Hey, we are cow smuggling. Adana, what kind of question is that? And um, please, Yoruka, don't get us wrong. We are in this community, and this kind of excitement we saw in you girls has not been found for a very long time in Omaja. What is going on? Ask them. Ask them.
No. No, no, it's not possible. Mba. Mba is right. I don't have no money. Once in a while, we need to make ourselves happy. Let's die before our time. Okay. You've spoken well, Nick. Thank you. But please, we should think on how this evil will be taken away from us. Instead of jubilating, I greet you all. We greet you all. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Say something. My dear, not what I I said you should do this. Me, I won't be. Thank you. 